So today I am putting together my ginger and garlic blend. And after which I'm also going to put together my herb, my fresh herb and seasoning blend. Just thinking of ways to make cooking easier and more efficient with my time. So I'm using basically my favorites, fresh aromatics to put these together. We're going to freeze them. So whenever I need it, it's ready. I've already peeled my ginger and now I'm cutting them against the grain of the strands. So when I blend them, they blend smoothly instead of leaving strands in them. The ginger is ready to be blended. Today, what I'm going for is a minced feel, okay? So I don't really want to blend it super smooth. I want it to have that minced feel. Gonna top it up with my garlic. And I got this garlic already peeled. What I do is I wash them before I use them. I got this from Restaurant Depot. See, they're already peeled. So those go on there. Now I like just a splash of vinegar. This is distilled vinegar in my ginger and garlic blend. It helps to preserve it. So just a splash is all you need. That's it. And let's blend away. Pulse, pulse, pulse. This is done. Great for your stir fries, for your stews, your soups, whatever you need ginger and garlic in. And because it's minced, it's not so harsh. Garlic can be harsh when it's blended too smoothly. So this is perfect. All right, we'll set this aside. Let's work on the rest of our prepping. I'm not going to rinse my food processor at all. And the food processor is perfect for a big batch of prepping like this, all right? So in here, I'm going to throw in some herbs. These are fresh curled leaf and flat leaf parsley. I've already washed these. I'm just going to give them a rough chop. The stems have the most flavor, so why throw those away? All right, rough chop. So I've got my parsley in here. Now I'm going to throw in some chilies. Please do not worry about the amount of chilies. I love chilies. So you can definitely adjust the amount to your preference. These are Thai chilies and they're so fragrant. They make food very, very fragrant, aromatic, and absolutely flavorful. Then I have my garlic. Mm -hmm. I have some flyaways, runaways, but we're gonna catch them all. They all need to go in. So in this blend, I'm going to also add some ginger, some scallions, and some fennel seeds. The fennel seeds will literally just bring the flavors and the aroma. Oh, Zawadi.
some more Thai chilies, some more ginger, because I'm making a big batch. Let's not forget the scallions for that grassy, oniony flavor. So these are also great in your, <clears throat> the chilies are getting to me. The, these are great in your stir fries, in your stews, your soups, whatever you need aromatics in. All right. I encourage you to use your favorite aromatics. I love cooking with these ingredients. So now a little bit of sage. Why sage? Because this is sort of an accidental ingredient. I just had some sage in the fridge. They were going bad. So I'll add to the blend. All right. Also not forget the vinegar. Very important ingredient here. We're going to freeze it, but to keep it fresh, even while it's frozen, the vinegar will help. If you don't have vinegar, you can use fresh acid from a citrus like lime or lemon. Let's go and blend this up. Fennel seeds are extremely fragrant and a little bit will go a long way. You get a licorice flavor from these and these won't grind well in a food processor. So I just crush them in a, using a mortar and pestle. Okay, that will do. It smells so good. Mm. Smell of licorice. I love the licorice flavor on my meats on even sometimes on my fish. It just brings a ton of flavor to your savory dishes. I love it. This texture is perfect. Roughly crushed. All right, so onto the fresh blend it goes, just like so. Mm, it smells really good. Very potent stuff. All you need is a small amount to bring a lot of flavor into any dish you're cooking, all right? Especially on meats and fish. Mm. All right, so now we're going to show you how to package and store. Usually at this point, your ice cube makers will be useful. However, we made a huge batch and I don't have that many ice cube makers. And so I figured a better alternative for a bigger batch like this would be just using your cling film or your plastic wraps. Just portion them into the sizes you prefer, cut them up and then wrap them individually and store them in the freezer. And this might be the case for many of you as well. So I'm hoping that you also will find using the uh, cling film or the plastic wrap useful. And so I tightened it up just like so. And they're individually wrapped at this time. They're going straight into the freezer. I did the same with the green seasoning. And of course you can wrap bigger portions or smaller portions. It's really up to you and what you think you would find useful. So your countertop should also come in really handy at this time. A long strip of your plastic wrap from one end to the other. Then portion your seasonings and your blends onto them, leaving enough space in between them. Then go in with a scissor, cut them up, and then tighten them into the freezer they go to solidify to make for easier storage back in the freezer about four hours later here they are how handy are these right when you're ready to cook take as many or as little as you need 
and you have all the aromatics you need in your food. So use your favorite aromatics, your fresh aromatics, put them together into a blend like this, store them in your freezer, ready to use whenever. Friends, I really hope that you have found some inspiration from this hack. I also have a huge thing of tomato paste. So I portioned them out just like that into the, those cling um, plastic wraps and I store them in the freezer. They are also solidified now. I cut them up into individuals, back into the freezer and ready for use whenever. Thank you so much friends for watching. I have enjoyed my time with you today. Thank you for liking the video, for sharing, for subscribing, and also for leaving a comment. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time, and here in Anaba's Kitchen, chop time is always yes friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here. <laughs>